Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode number two of the podcast. I still do not know what the name of this podcast is, but I don't really care. I figured I'd hop on another episode and just talk about how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, and just just don't pop, 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 pop. You know, the plosives are really good on this microphone. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video little podcast. I call it a video, but okay, so today... I was at school. Something really bothered me. And there was this kid. He was walking around with a, a, a two liters of chocolate milk. You know, who walks around with the two liters of chocolate milk if they ain't asking for some play, some attention? You know, the ladies be loving that chocolate milk. They're like, dang, I can't make that myself. You know what I'm saying? Got to add that cocoa mix. And they're like, you know, they can't make it naturally all by themselves. So they'd be wanting it from this guy. So anyways, this guy was just like, yo, why, yo, what's up? Drinking that chocolate milk. He's like, yeah, duh. I was like, what are you drinking? Chocolate milk? He's like, no, I just walk around with the bottle to, you know, he said he just walks around with the bottle to look cool. I was like, brother, you do not look cool, motherfucker. Like, I, in the context, I mean, nobody really likes this guy. You, you know, he's not the favorite of the school, but, you know, we tolerate him. You know, nobody really tolerates him, but, you know, he exists. He's walking around. He's doing his thing. And I was just, you know, making small talk. You know how people be like, yo, you drink that, you eat that salt, you eat that pepper with your french fries, you know. And it's just kind of like small talk like that. And, you know, the kid was just not having it, bro. It was like, shut the fuck up. I was like, bro, what the fuck? So this is my, how my day is going. I get out of class, first class of the day. This kid's telling me to shut the fuck up. I don't know what to say back. So I'm just, I'm like, what? I, I figured, you know, this guy's not worth my energy these days. I just kept walking, kept stomping. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? So just like the weirdest interactions all my whole life. Like, this is the kid. And that gets up in the middle of band class and starts yelling. This is the kid that gets starts, you know, the wah, 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 wah. Bro, this kid played trombone. Every time someone messes up, this kid's playing the wah, wah, wah. Like, bro, you know, I don't know how attention hungry you got to be to be playing the wah, wah every time, bro. But, like, at a point, there's a, there comes a point where, like, maybe you stop doing the same joke over and over again. I don't know. Like, we be in this band class for the past four years. This kid's been playing the wah, wah. The whole time, brother. And it's always out of key. You know, you got, you know how it's always supposed, it's supposed to be like, well, this kid's got it the octave higher. He's like, okay, that actually said that was, all right, bro. That was probably actually better than the first one. I don't even know. I'm fucking up. All right, but basically, I'm saying, fuck this guy, man. No, I don't, I don't want to be like given negativity just because this guy's negative towards me. I don't got to be negative towards him, you know, I, I'll be the bigger man, I'll be like, yo, you know, maybe this kid's got something going on at home, maybe he got the kids, you know, maybe he's 17 with kids, you know, he's got the job, you know, he's a busy guy, this is the guy that was telling me, if he ain't making 20 an hour, he ain't taking the job, you like, you know, my, you know, that's, that's how much I get paid, that's how much I get paid, that's my, that's my fee, 20 an hour, like, buddy, I know you're just sitting there, Yo, that's my fee, man. That's my fee. I ain't getting paid less than twenty five. If they if they offer twenty man, man, I ain't taking that shit, man. Are you serious? I'm taking more money than that, man. Man, like I don't get it these days. These kids, I don't know. I don't I don't connect with my generation as much as I wish I did. People be laughing at these jokes of like a penguin smoking a cigar, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "What the fuck?" You know, these kids be like cracking up watching Elmo smoke a joint and then they're cracking up about smoking mushrooms writing essays at the same time like buddy I've been I'm not impressed okay let me tell you that and doing this it really reminds me that I have a few homework assignments to do so what do I have I have to like write this thing for English I know y'all 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 be like yo 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 who, what's this kid doing for homework you know what's this kid doing for I know you guys are like damn man this kid really needs to tell me uh, what you're doing for homework but yeah I gotta I gotta do that so I, I, there's some AI thing we gotta be writing something about AI they're like yo what do you think we should use AI for in class like bro I think I should write all my essays with AI I don't even know what you're talking about lady like this girl asking us to decide how we gonna use AI in your class. Like this is your class. I feel like it's her responsibility to decide how we're gonna use a tool. And you, and you know, if we say like, yeah, we can use it on everything, she's gonna be like, no, no, you can't. So what's the point of us even having the freedom to choose? We spend this whole class period on this one thing, and also she didn't even tell us something was due last class. So I show up 
to you know lunch everybody's like yo i finished my essay how'd your essay go i was like nah man i didn't know that was due so i gotta go get up in the middle of english like lunch class and i gotta run down i'll be like yo get me on this computer man i gotta type up 20 minutes i pull i the best haiku you ever read okay this thing is like i don't know it's like 10 haikus in one you know a plus if i don't get an a plus 20 minutes a plus 20 minute a plus no problem. That's how intelligent I am. I just cooked that thing up like a fucking hash brown, frozen hash brown. It was already there. I just needed to dethaw it and put it on a skillet, you know. So that worked out fantastically, except until after. I was like, yo, librarian, please write me a pass so I don't get in trouble for being late to class. You're like, man, that's your problem. I'm like, fuck you, librarian. This is the problem with the public school, man. They're fucking us over. The librarian won't even give you a pass to skip class. You know, next thing you know, the janitor won't, you know, scrub the sperm off the seats. You know, they got it. You'd be like, yo, man, you jizzed all over the toilet seat. Pick it up yourself, bitch. You know, they get all the guys in there. They're like, who jizzed on the toilet seat? You know, we got to get all the guys in there scrubbing that shit. You know, next thing you know, uh, next thing you know, you got, you you know, the, they stop providing tampons. They got to shove t- t- paper towels up. Yeah. Never mind. I, I'm trying not to. This so inappropriate, man. Like, I feel like I don't know. I'm trying to be more appropriate. Trying to get into heaven. You know, the, the most, the mo- the best thing you can do is just not swear. You know, be holy, 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 holy. So that, yeah, that was shit. But I don't know. I'm trying to be a little bit better about my language. Try not to say like you know when that guy swore at me the other, this morning. He was like, "Yo, stop fucking talking to me." I'm like. You know, I wasn't going to swear back. I could have been like, you know, but I'm trying to be better. I'm trying not to swear. So kind of just had to shut up. I don't know. Swearing's pretty bad. It's not professional. You know, ain't you ain't got to get a, you ain't going to get a job, you know, cursing and swearing. But you know what I did get a job at and I cursed and swore before I got the job. That's crotchy mountain motherfucker to fucking ski. Oh, my gosh. I just swore. Yo, be careful, guys. Don't swear. But anyways, I got a job at Crotchet Mountain. If you didn't know where that is, that's a little ski mountain they like to call. They call it a little bunny hill over here in the New Hampshire state. And it was pretty easy to get a job. I don't want to lie. I just showed up to the website. I had to write a whole, you know, I take it back because I actually had to write like a whole entire uh, resume. I didn't have a resume before. I'm trying to pull up the uh, website. I starred. I starred the website now. It's not coming up. I don't know how they're doing that to me. Because I literally saved, I saved the website, bro. God dang. Like, how am I going to know if I got some notifications to to handle or whatever? I got, like, I don't know, my taxes to pay. Are you serious? They won't even let me into Google. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, hell nah. Yo, I gotta be logging into this shit. It's like middle of the day. Yo, don't swear, brother. Don't swear. If you swear, and I'm caring, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, I really do because like every time you swear, you know that's one. You know, if there was a swear jar, that's a quarter of swear, bro. You'd be losing like your whole paycheck a day to that. If it was a if there was a jar for that, but if there wasn't, you're chilling. But you know. If they got the jar, you're fucked. If there's a jar around, let's just say you're out of all your quarters are gone, buddy. Oh my goodness, I cannot find this. I'll be back. Yeah, I couldn't find the website, but they'll they'll email me for sure. I hope. I I I please please email me. Anyways, no, but I'm a senior, so we're supposed to be like buying shirts. Well, we're supposed to buy shirts every year for our class. They say like, oh, you're a junior, oh, you're a senior. Well, I'm not buying that shit. I was trying to buy it. Fifteen dollars, which isn't bad, you know. I gotta be honest, a shirt, but these shirts have low quality prints, which you know, not the biggest deal. But I'm kind of cheap, okay. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna lie with you. I'm a little cheapskate, you know. what I'm saying. So when I looked on the website, and I scrolled down, and I was looking and scrolling and looking and scrolling, and then I scrolled to the part when they had me put my credit card number in. And it didn't say easy Apple Pay button, boom a de bop And they were making me go out to my car and get my debit card and type all these numbers. And I was like, you know what? I ain't doing this shit. And then I didn't. And I'm not buying that shit. 
they were like, last call for this crap, last call to get these shirts, man. Well, let me tell you, this is the last call you're ever going to hear from me because I ain't buying that shirt ever, man. I don't, it doesn't matter, okay? At the end of the day, you're just wearing a shirt. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about what you're wearing. It's about how you're wearing it. And I'm just wearing nothing. If I don't wear nothing but I wear it good, then I think I'm chilling. So, anyways, yeah, I'm done with this topic. Anyways, I'm not wasting my hard-earned cash on this stupid communist bull crap. I ain't wasting my money to represent some advertisement for my school, man. I ain't trying to be in no picture looking all good with this stupid white shirt. (sighs) Man, I'd rather just wear whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't got to be matching everybody. Everybody's matching. Everybody's like, yeah, we gay. I ain't gay. So I ain't matching. That's how it is. And that's how it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm trying to finish this book, though. I've been reading. I've been reading it every day. 10, 20 pages a night. Used to be reading like 100. But ever since school started, I've been learning less. I've had less time to learn ever since my school started making me learn with them. And I haven't learned much of anything. And that's a problem, I think, personally. I've just been learning how to do busy work. Learning how to do the same thing I've been doing for the past 10 years over and over again. You know, it it becomes a chore the school business and i don't mean the hate i don't I, you know the teachers do good work and they're, they're out there busting their ass so we can have a good day at school or i don't know we need so we can sit in a class all day and do nothing but i'm just sick and tired i i, I don't want to be complaining I, you know i could have it worse i could be in the in the salt mines but i just feel like i i could do more they could have us doing a little bit more brain work. You know, we're kind of not really thinking for ourselves. We're kind of just, everything's handed to us, which I don't mind. Today in uh, accounting class, which easy class, buddy, I got into that class. Oh, I'm about to take notes for an hour and a half. Mother, oh, shoot, me, man. man, I'd rather crack a cold one, if you know what I'm saying, than sit in this class. And I was like sitting there, my butt slowly sinking into the plastic chair. You know, it's firm and, you know, you know, like your butt's plump when you're standing up. But the second you put some pressure on it, it gets like a little compressed. So my butt was compressed against the chair. I'm just sitting there waiting for class to start. I'm like, man, I wish I wasn't here. And good thing I only have one class today. Because if I had more, I'd probably kill something. Not me. Of course, I'm not depressed. Especially not that much. And I understand, you know, some people, they just be a little worried, you know. They call them the, you know, if you feel like a little crazy killer, you know, it might kill yourself. But I'm not about that. I'm not I'm not suicidal, so I don't be doing that. But I get it. Some people are, and that's okay. You know, got to do what you got to do. But get help. Go call. You know, there's people you can call. There's hope for you. So, brother, get a, a call. You know, get some help and They'll get you squared away. And you know what else was funny? I was hanging out with my violin teacher today, which I'm probably, you guys are like, this kid ain't cool, man. Why am I listening to this kid? He played the violin. But hear me out. I was there. And she was like, yo, what's up? What are you doing after high school? And she was pressuring me to do some music in college. She just kept going on and on. How about should I get a music degree? And how I was like, nah, there's so many people better than me. I go to this like all state festival and all these things, and everybody's just cooking, going crazy. These kids, like, practice on three or four hours a day. So I was just like, no, I'm, I'm not doing it. And then she kept going on and on about how these kids, they won't stick with it. And if you will st- if you stick with it, then you're going to be good. And that doesn't make sense. She was just telling me, like, you know, some of these kids, they don't move on. They don't, they don't try, and that's why they fail. And... You know, just because they're better than you now doesn't mean they'll be better than you later. But the thing is, I'm not trying to practice six hours a day. I barely practice an hour a week. So I think I'm in a pretty good place considering I only practice an hour a week. And if I never heard of anybody as good as me that's only been practicing an hour a week except for a few people, I ain't going to lie. But, you know, I got to scratch on my head real quick. There we go. You know, the microphone, if, you, if you're not hosting on anything, you know, you're not talking, it's a good back scratcher. I could scratch the old, you know, the old spine sock, you know, with the old with the old microphone if I needed to. But 
You know, I feel like the world's going to end. I mean, you look out the window, you see this freaking ball of gas in the sky falling down. You know, if you're on a lake, not really at the ocean, but if you're on a lake and you look around, you see all these trees and then you just see the blue. You know, it's really bad when there's no clouds. You think you're going to die. I'm going to look, I'm going to roll up the shade right now and I'm going to see the sun. I'm going to be like, damn, it's coming down right now. Holy, it's a warm day out for being fall. Uh, I like being shade down is good. It makes me feel like I'm not going to die. The more I'm inside, the more I feel like I'm alive. And the more I feel alive, the more I'm going to live. So that's how that is. I don't know why I just said that. I don't know why I bothered saying that. But it's hard, man. I don't know. Life is, it's a weird part. It's a weird place to be going from high school to college. Because some people, they be going to college. Some people, they just dip they get a job they do something with their life but the other kids the other kids that don't do anything with their life they go to college man and the problem with going to college i personally think is that i don't know what i'm gonna major in and i know a lot of people out there like whoa you don't know what you're gonna major in motherfucker what are you doing buddy figure it out figure out your life and i hate to say i hate to be the guy to be like yo I I can't I ain't got that figured out yet. I ain't got the life figured out, man. And it hates I hate to be I hate to say that cuz I wish I did have my life figured out. I wish I had knew I knew what I wanted to do. All I know is I want to just live in a small house and chillax for a few years and have a job that I can continue to have. And I know that's a weird, you know, kind of goal is to just live in a house and you know, have my own space and just chill for a few years, have a job and then maybe graduate an online degree while I have that job. And then, I don't know. This is what I really want to do is I want to get a job, get an online degree, graduate, and then get like a a certification with my job that I was doing. And then I could just do whatever I want after that. You know, instead of wasting four years, I could, I don't know, get a degree online. I could get a job in person and I could just chill. I mean, I, I don't understand why that's not a, a, a feasible option. I know it sounds like a lot of work getting an online degree, getting certified in something else as well. It sounds like a lot of work. But, I mean, if I study, I think it'd be a good shot at life. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know what I want to do. So maybe just getting a job, getting certified, doing some stuff would help me out and just make me a rounded person. I don't know for sure, but I'd like to try. I'd like to try. Man, I'd like to try, man. Get her done. I don't know. Larry the Cable Guy is a funny guy because he's had like one big role, Tomator, in the in the Cars franchise. And besides that, he hasn't done anything besides his stand-up. And I, th- I think it's just funny that he's so iconic to do Tomator that he hasn't <laughs> he hasn't gotten any other jobs doing any other voice acting. Yeah, I don't know. Lightning McQueen is that guy that's in all those movies. So he's famous. You know, he's in Loki. I can't really think of any other movies, but I've seen tons of movies with him in it. And he's just an iconic character. But, you know, Get Her Done, the Tomato character, uh, Larry the Cable Guy, you know, he's only done really. I mean, I hate to be that guy. I don't know for sure. I haven't really just. I just haven't seen any of his other work. And I see the other guy around all the time on everything. So. It's just interesting to see. It's also interesting that like some some actors like make it, they get big roles and big places in movies, and then some actors they kind of just fall off. They kind of just I don't know in the background, just doing their thing, doing their work, getting their work done, and going home, going to the family, going to wife and kids, the old ball and chain. You know what I'm saying? They get to go home to the ball and chain, walk around with that fucking ball and the chain, just walking. But well, that's all good, you know. The ball and the chain is all the ball. The ball chain. Yo, stop with the voice crap, buddy. But a boy. Don't even mess with me. But yeah. I mean the old ball and chain is a is a blessing in disguise, brother. Cause without a ball and chain, you know, how you gonna wash the dishes, how you gonna get the old load out, you know, get the old white will it wet. How you gonna get the willy wet if you ain't got no ball and chain? You gotta get that. And then if you don't got that ball and chain, you're getting them STDs. So it's really a, 
you know, is really a trade-off right there. You know, it's either you get the old ball and chain or you're balled and chained and or your balls are going to be looking like they're a chain. You know, if you don't get the old ball and chain, you, brother, you're going to die in 10 years because of that. Then them diseases out there, they'd be bad. They'd be really bad. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really sad to see, but, you know, those diseases, they'll get you. You know, I saw that movie Boys in the Hood. I think I talked about it last episode, but they'll get you with those diseases, man. It's awful. It's awful. It's terrible. And I hate to be the guy that talks about it, and I don't want to be the guy that gets it for sure. That's why I'm going to talk about it. That's why I'm going to keep it at the front of my mind. I'm going to college and I just don't want to get no <laughs> no diseases, you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather sit in my room and do nothing than get no disease, man. Them uh, those that you know your dick fall off, you know some of them diseases. And imagine I'm like guessing what's gonna happen to me. <laughs> imagine in a few years I'll be getting my dick chopped off and shit from all them diseases out there. Them them you know sexually transmitted diseases. Them STDs. You know what I'm saying? That's be awful if I ever got one of those. Now that I think about it, it just sounds terrible. And I, my, my condolences goes out to anybody with a family member or anybody with it if they're listening right now. I mean, that's terrible to get one of those. To get one of those diseases, it sounds awful. I wouldn't want it. You know what? I ain't gonna lie. You know what podcast I've been listening to lately? That Theo Vaughn. And I, I hate to be that guy, but I feel like I'm kind of... I've listened to, like, 200 episodes in the past month, and I feel like I'm turning into him. I don't know. I, I like his... No. Nah, I, I don't know. You know what I would hate, man, to go out and get ice cream right now? You know, oh, man. But if someone, like, brought, if someone brought me to get ice cream, I mean, I might have to. But I don't know, man. Maybe I should go. You know, summer's almost over. It'll be the last time I'd get an ice cream creamy ice cream boys and girls that's what i'm talking about that that creme de ice the lemon ice you know what i'm saying i don't know what i'm saying but i want that creamy ice you know that stuff that cream down your throat make you go oh yeah but i'm gonna go talk to my grandma she live in that um uh, you know on the other side of the old fence so i'm gonna go check her out and i'll be back I ain't going to check her out like that, but you know what I mean. You know, she wasn't even there. I went over. This is the problem, man. I mean, I try to be bonded with my grandma, man. So I walk over there. She's not there, and this happens every day. I try to go over and bond with my grandmother, and she's never she's never home. She's never. Uh, she's just always gone when I say I want to go over. I was going to go over when I got home, and then I just didn't. I was, gonna, I was like, yo, I'm going to wait a few minutes. So I waited like, I don't know, an hour maybe. It's been an hour since I got home and I tried to go over and she wasn't home. And I, I just don't know what to do these days. My grandma is never home trying to talk to her, trying to go say, what up, grandma? How's it going? How's life? I hope you're doing well. And it's just, uh, it doesn't it doesn't work out. Never really. I don't know. I'm kind of sad. I was like, I don't know, in a good mood and whatnot a second ago. And then I just got a, like a wave of sadness. Like, I don't know, I was, I tried, I didn't do what I wanted to do a second ago, and I was proud, I was like, yep, I'm not gonna do it, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna control myself, I'm gonna go and do this podcast thing that I've been trying to do, and, I don't know, then I just had a wave, it was like a wave of sadness, I never had such a thing happen to me before, it's like I completely disappointed myself by doing what I was doing, I, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy. I don't know. We're so used to immediate gratification these days, I feel like, with, you know, Snap, TikTok, scrolling. I don't have TikTok, but Instagram, scrolling, and I don't know, just everything is just so instant. You know, if you want, if you're, if you're, if you're trying to get some entertainment, you just, boom, it's there. You know, in your face. Get some of that good shit right there. But that's just not how life is. Life isn't so instantaneous as it seems to be these days. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, in- instant gratification is just probably not good for us. You know, probably need to 
have some patience and wait and just see what happens. You know, not not everything has to be right away, right in your face all the time. Sometimes it just can be like, relax, take your time, it'll happen. It'll come. Just wait. I don't know. I need to wait more. I just need to do some more waiting. You wait and wait and wait and wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. I've just been too impatient lately. I, or, I don't know. Just no patience. No nothing. Just an empty void waiting to die. I don't know. I'm so upset. <sighs> Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess my attention span isn't as good as it used to be, and I don't even scroll that much. It's just uh, my attention span is shot. I don't know. It's either I'm working towards something or or I'm just trying to get it done with. I don't know. It's like I don't want to reveal too much on this episode, man, but I don't know. I know exactly what I want to say right now, but I'm not going to say it because I just can't. And it's uh, I'm controlling myself. I, I can't say this kind of thing on the on the way on the radio waves, and it's okay. I guess I I don't need to talk about it. It's it's tough, man. I, everything is it's just so tough to to deal with. I don't know. I think I'm mentally ill. Definitely. I don't know. It's definitely oh shit. You know, instant gratification is. It just ruins us. It just, you know, we, we think we think it's what, our, what we want. We're like, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get that gratification. And then when it's over, you're like, geez, what did I do? Why did I just scroll for 15, 10 minutes, 5 minutes? Even not. It's like, geez, I just fried it. I just fried the brain. Now I can't think clearly. I can't do what I want to do because I just fried the brain. It's fried. <sighs> It sucks. I wish I was. I wish I lived some in a different time. I wish I wasn't so ruined in the head. I wish I wasn't. I wasn't so. I don't know. I know exactly what I'm thinking about right now. But instant gratification. It just really ruins me. It really. It. I control. I, I try to control it. But yeah. I mean, it's just. It, it's terrible. It's just terrible. I'm. I'm terrible. I wish I didn't say those things to my girlfriend, too. Uh, I I miss her. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know. I should have spent more time earlier in my life doing other things. Like, I don't know, instead of playing video games when I was in seventh grade, I could have been practicing violin and getting really good. But now I'm here high school senior and I don't know I'm pretty good I, I mean I'm in the all-state orchestra but I mean I don't even play video games anymore it's just it just I don't know I wish I did so, so many things differently but that's just life everybody has regrets and you gotta move on so I don't want to be self-pitying myself I don't I don't want to be like pity me pity me because I didn't practice violin enough no I don't need any pity I don't need pity it's not what I need I just need to do better. I need to do way better. And I don't know what to do. I'm in a bad place. I'm in a bad place right now. Just in life in general. I mean, it's just... I don't know. I know everybody's living their life and everybody thinks... I don't know. Everybody thinks it could be going better. But I just... I really do. I really... I am really in a mess. I really don't know what to do. I'm stuck. And it's... I don't know why. It's not like I did anything that would get me stuck, I guess. I just, I'm having trouble just really thinking clearly, really deciding what I want to do. And I'm all over the place doing this podcast. I'm just all over the place. Can't figure out what is my goal. What do I want to do for the rest of my existence? I can't figure it out. I can't do it. And I know, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. Yeah, self-pity, geez, stop it, you know? I should be able to control myself. I shouldn't be able to, I shouldn't be doing this. shouldn't be just getting on this thing, just complaining about how I can't figure anything out. I should just go out there and figure it out, but I don't know. Come on, I just don't know. I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's the fact that I just don't know what to do. And everybody seems like they got it all figured out, you know, though. And I talked about this last time, everybody's like, well, I'm planning on being the old electrician, man. 
or I'm being an engineer, you know. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And people say, that's okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You figure it out, man. Don't worry. But I'm worried. I'm worried about everything. I'm so I'm so done. I don't know what to do. That's going to be it for this episode. I don't... Uh, maybe it's the last episode too. Just putting that out there. I can't do it no more. Maybe that's just the end of this episode. That's why I'm like, we can't do it no more. That's how I'm feeling. That whole song. That's 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 how I feel. All right. See you guys later. By guys, I mean nobody. Nobody to be listening to this shit ever, man. <sighs> ah. That's what I'm saying. All right, I need to get off of this thing. Peace out. <laughs>